little baby eggnog. <laughs> <My> eggnog. <laughs> hey, I got mine too. Yeah, yeah. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Wait, hey, I know you're live, so. <laughs> we awesome. are live. So Joe, where are you going traveling? traveling? Oh, <laughs> sorry, Emily. Been traveling. Yeah. Yeah. This last week I was down in the DC area. Um, we just made our first batch of eggnog, which we're going to talk about this mm -hmm. evening. Not any secrets. I was going from store to store, and I'm telling you, down in uh, Washington, D.C., Frederick, Baltimore area, I'll be back in that area on Tuesday and in Philadelphia on Wednesday. Um, but people are excited for it, I'm telling you. They, hey, I'm hearing from store uh, managers, store owners, dairy managers. Mm -hmm. Boy, um, yeah, uh, you know, I'm going in with a bottle of the eggnog, so that helps. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. This is the first bottles. <laughs> if you want, if you want a good welcome, I walk in with a bottle of the eggnog, a 16 ounce <laughs> bottle of our chocolate milk, and the only comment is, "Do you got more?" Can you yeah. get me a case of it this afternoon? Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, it's been exciting. Uh, and shout out to Common Market uh, in Frederick. They have two uh, Common Market Co-op in Frederick. They got two stores there. And I gave him a call on Tuesday asking if I could come down on Friday. I told him what was up. And he's like, as soon as uh, the distributor has it in their warehouse. He's like, I want it in. So he mm -hmm. probably already has it in. It, he was going to get it in on Saturday or Sunday here. So probably already has it in the shelf. Uh, and then the other one in the mid-Atlantic area here is Mom's Organic Market, first week in November. So they're going to be a week off here. But they're going to get it in, and they're getting a bunch in uh, to all 18 of their stores. So very nice. exciting. Nice. Cool. Well, good evening and welcome everybody to our October Community Conversations. I'm your host, Emily Baxter, and we we're just talking about eggnog. But before we go there, let's talk about last month. So last month, we went through some of our frequently asked questions, questions that we get on social media, on the phone, in person. Um, so if you didn't get a chance to watch that live, you can see it back on our Facebook page under videos. Um, the September Community Conversation. So check that out. It's really interesting to hear um, some of the answers that that we have to your FAQs. So um, thank you again for joining us tonight. I want to know where you're tuning in from. So drop a note in the comments. Let us know um, wh where you're tuning in from. I'm from Iowa. I'm in Mount Pleasant, Iowa right now. Um, and this month, it's all about eggnog. Our creamy, delicious, organic eggnog, just hot off the production, I was going to say presses, um, on October 15th, we made our first, our first production, and this one is from that first. I was so excited. The first thing I did with it was put it in my coffee the next morning. So from now until the end of the year, this is my new half and half. This is my coffee creamer. Um, I love it. It just, it's got the creaminess, but it adds the, those warm fall spices. Oh, delicious. Um, so just like all of our products, it comes from grass fed cows. It's um, small family farms, uh, low temp pasteurization and non-homogenized. So you can see from the bottom that we don't include any, any stabilizers. You can see all this yummy spices, but a good shake just shakes those back in there. And that's just because we don't want to include any stabilizers in it. So, oh my gosh, I see Tampa Bay. I see South Carolina. Oh my goodness. Lots of people tuning in tonight. Um, so like I said, we started the first production on October 15th. Some select stores even got the product, even got the eggnog um, this past week on the 20th. And then the, the majority of all the stores will get um, eggnog available the first part of November so they can order those in. So I want to show you a quick little production video. Oh, Joe. Yes, sir. 
We just got a question in asking oh. where where people can get our products in Charleston, South Carolina. And I know we're going to, you know, I'm sure you're going to bring up questions later uh, mm -hmm. to talk. Um, but I just wanted to say Sprouts uh, Market, I believe there's a Sprouts Farmer's Market down there in Charleston, South Carolina that awesome. has our products and we'll be getting the eggnog in around the second week in November. Um, but check with your local co-ops as well. And mm -hmm. until the end of the call, I'll find out if there's any co-ops in Charleston that will be carrying the product. So Perfect. Yes, please ask any questions as we go on. Um, there is always the store locator on colonosupernatural.com. I always mess it up. Is it com or org? Dot com. Dot com. Okay. There's always the store locator, but um, I always tell people that if if your local store carries any Kelowna Supernatural product, ask them. Ask them if they can get in the eggnog, um, depending on the region. Um, it's all. It doesn't hurt to ask. Um, so let's go on to seeing the very first production this year of our organic eggnog. Awesome. So that was, like I said, the very first production that just took place on October 15th, but it kind of, it really focused on the bottling process. So I wanted to ask Joe, if you could fill us in a little bit, what happens before it hits the bottles? Yeah, great. Uh, great question. And, you know, it starts with the farms. Emily, you know, we had that great farm video back in June where we did the community conversations and celebration of our family farmers, but it starts with the farms. We get the fresh milk in, as with all of our products, we do a vat pasteurization. But before we pasteurize it, we add cinnamon, nutmeg, uh, egg yolks, and whole eggs into our eggnog. We blend that together. We do a vat pasteurization. Vat pasteurization only heats the product 145 degrees. It's the lowest temperature allowed at all. So just keeping it as minimally processed as simple as possible. And then what's just as important, we don't add. We don't any, add any artificial flavors. We don't add any colors. We don't homogenize milk. Oh, wait a minute. We also don't add any stabilizers. No carrageenan, no stabilizers. And then we don't homogenize. So yeah i ha i have a bottle right here you can see the spices settle to the bottom just give it a good shake the non-homogenization means that the cream will rise to the top i see sam pushing up there when milk hasn't been homogenized homogenization is a process that the milk goes through and it beats up the milk with really high pressure to break those fat molecules so they stay suspended in milk well cream is naturally lighter than the rest of the milk mm -hmm. So that cream will separate to the top and you'll get a little cream top. Now with eggnog, because of the spices, the eggs in it, it won't separate out as much, but oftentimes you'll get a little bit of a cream top up here. And sometimes you'll actually see the spices settle in the cream as well, right in this 
right in the neck of the bottle, uh, the spices that don't settle to the bottom. And you just want to give it a good shake every time. You want to shake it anyways because those spices will settle to the bottom. I got one here that I haven't been shaking. You can see they settle. But here's here's how quickly they settle. You know, you, you can see it. Ah, I got to get it to the camera. You can see how quickly it shakes right back in. It's not hard at all. Give it a good shake every time. Pour it out into a glass. But did I answer your question, Emily? As far as yes. what the process is, yes. right? I, I'm, I'm running on. I know, I know. It's exciting to talk about dairy. <laughs> if you're just joining us, we are talking about our deliciously creamy organic Kelowna Supernatural eggnog. Um, we just released it about a week, a week and a half ago, um, which is a little bit earlier than normal. So you might be saying, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I have to get my hands on that. Um, so we talked a little bit about the store locator on our website. Um, I see some people reaching out. Um, it looks like Alice has some questions about what other stores carry your products. Sam, can you address that? Joe, you're the sales manager. Where's that oh. stuff at? <laughs> <laughs> Alabama's kind of new area for us, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the, the best place I can tell you right off to go to is we had the privilege this year of getting into a lot of the national and to a lot of the co-ops across the country. Mm -hmm. So check out your local co-op. Uh, they carry, a lot of them carry various of our products and a lot of them have committed to, um, to our eggnog. Now, Alabama, I'm just looking quickly. I actually have a list of all the co-ops because it's been exciting for us mm -hmm. this year to have uh, the co-ops committing in a big way to carry our eggnog and support our family farms. We, there's no co-ops in Alabama that have committed to our eggnog, but uh, if you have any sprouts farmers markets in your area, they will be carrying our eggnog. Uh, and check with your indep uh, independent natural mm -hmm. grocers. If you go to our website, colonersupernatural.com, the product locator, click on the product locator on there, and you can do a search for your local area. Mm -hmm. If you can't find it, I would ask you, we got a form on there you can fill out that it'll send you, it'll help you request it from your local uh, retailers mm -hmm. because we really do need your help. We can call the retailers and we do, asking them to carry it. But if they hear from you, the people who shop in their stores that you want to see it there, they're a lot quicker to respond. And it is in distributors that deliver into those states. So you should be able to get it. Mm-hmm. Perfect. Yeah. Awesome. Well, I see, let's see, we've got Mark joining us, Claudia, Patty. Uh, I saw Beverly was on. So thank you all for joining. If anybody else is just joining, drop us a note and tell us where you're tuning in from. We've got South Carolina, I think Florida, uh, Missouri, Iowa. Um, we just love to hear, hear how widespread our community goes. Um, so now, oh yes. Yeah, back to that one in, in Charleston that had asked, because I didn't feel like I had uh, a real good answer at that time. But I do have several uh, co-ops in Charleston that carry our products. And Weaver Street Market, a very popular co-op in North Carolina, mm -hmm. is carrying our products. And we'll have our eggnog in this holiday season. Durham Co-op Market and Chatham Market will be... I'm sorry, not Chatham Market, uh, Durham Co-op and Henderson Community Co-op will be carrying mm -hmm. our eggnog this holiday season. And again, if you have a local co-op that you like shopping at, let them know you'd love to see our eggnog in there. But those are a few that I wanted to call out in North Carolina since that state had come up mm -hmm. carrying our products. Sure, sure. Okay, well, without further ado, I have a very special guest chef standing next to me and sh she's very eager to get on. So I want to introduce you to my daughter, Lucy. So come on over. Yeah. So Lucy is nine and she's joined us once before for um, a cooking segment, but we're going to make um, something special tonight with eggnog. We are making eggnog French toast with an eggnog yogurt dip to go with it. All right. So Lucy is going to walk us through and I'm going to 
angle it down so we can see what she's doing. So first things first, and she's already washed her hands. <laughs> Quite a few times, she says. All right. So tell us what you're doing. I'm cutting them so they can be in strips so we can dip them in our yogurt. Dip. Right. Because it's more fun to eat French toast when it's when it's in a strip, right? When it's mm -hmm. like dippable. Yeah. All right. You want to do one more in there so we can get a good a good serving going on? Gave her the big knife tonight. <laughs> Lucy, what's your favorite way to enjoy eggnog? I like frothing it. Frothing it? Tell them what that means. That means it gets like, um, we have a machine that spins it and heats it up at the same time really fastly, and it makes it into really fluffy cream. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So we've got the bread cut. What are we doing next? Now we're going to um, pour our, we're going to crack the egg into the bowl so we can make our um, French toast thing so we can dip them in there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like the batter that's yeah. going to make it, give it the flavors and give it a little crisp to it with the egg. Go ahead. Now, Lucy, you did a recipe with sticky fingers right mm -hmm. with a group called sticky fingers you can go ahead and wash your hands and you told me a technique that you that you learned um on sticky fingers so you actually didn't get any yolks or any <laughs> any eggshell in this but are you coming back yeah. okay if you got eggshell in your cracked egg what would you do I would wet my fingers so I could get it out. Yeah. So who knew that? Wetting your fingers gets the eggshell out. Very nice. Okay, where'd that eggnog go? That's the next important part, right? So how much eggnog are you putting in here? I'm going to put it into mm -hmm. a half. One half cup? One half cup. Oh, did you shake it up? Oh, no. Get those spices in there, girlfriend. <laughs> That's the best part. Ooh, there you go. Give it a little side to side shake. Uh huh. Very nice. Half a cup. Almost there. Perfect. I'll be your assistant. So, eggnog in with the egg. Here's your whisk. Whisk it on up. And we've already lined our baking sheet with parchment paper, like the recipe said. So I've got the baking sheet over here. Nice. All right. Now, the next part is not your favorite. Nope. Nope. Why is this not your favorite part? Because I have to get my hands messy. <laughs> yeah. It's really cold. It's really cold, and you have to get your hands messy. And what's the other thing we learned about this? Because we tried to do, like, three at a time yeah what happens it get they get too soggy mm -hmm. and then they start to rip yeah they get too soggy and they start to rip and we don't want soggy bread right yeah let's see if i can get this angled down even more for you there we go perfect all right so after you've dipped them we have more. Get another one in there. Do you remember what temperature we put it on? 350. And this is the tricky part. You put it in the oven at 350 for 10 minutes. And when the beeper, when the timer goes off, you take it out and you need to flip all of them over for another eight minutes. You can wash your hands. Um, but what we what we kind of decided was they're they're easy when you bake them because it's you leave it and forget it for 10 minutes but um when we made this recipe actually for dinner tonight we had breakfast for dinner um we learned that i think we would like them on the stovetop better make it a little crispier than the baked ones but 
Anyway, so while this is baking for 10 minutes, here, I'll stick it in there and then you can start with your yogurt dip. Okay. All right. So tell us about this yogurt dip. What makes it so special? It's um, yo it's our Kelowna yogurt and oh, what's these? <laughs> some of our Kelowna natural eggnog. Yes. Which makes the spices in it. Mm -hmm. Now, what do we like so much about this whole milk vanilla yogurt? Creamy. Oh, yeah. Yes. It's so creamy. Okay. So here's your fourth a cup. And I think you can actually just dip that in there since it's small enough. Yeah, that's good. So for this kind of a, maybe a two person serving, maybe just a one person serving. Um, it's just a quarter cup. There you go. And then to give it the flavoring here, how about I pour and you hold? Yeah. It says on the recipe card, one to two teaspoons. Whoops. Oh, we're not even showing them what we're doing. Oh, yeah. Holy moly. We need a, we need a chef's um, video, don't we? There we go. All right. Mix her on up. So we've got just two teaspoons of eggnog in there. And you can see that it's already changed the color. It's given it some of that nice, the brown nutmeg, the cinnamon color to it. And now right? Yeah. Through the magic of television. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Our French toast is ready. You want to put some dip in there? Yep. Yum. All right. So we talked about your favorite way to have your eggnog is with the frother, right? Yeah. Mine would be adding it to my coffee. What else does everybody think? Do we have others in the comments that you want to tell us how you enjoy your eggnog? How about you, Joe and Sam? Do you have any special eggnog recipes you like to use? Sam, do you ever even see, you know, any cooking? <laughs> He's showing his. Drink it straight. Mm -hmm. Hey, yeah, actually, just this afternoon, you talked about what you did for uh, your dinner, so good. having breakfast for dinner. One of the things my kids were asking earlier today, they wanted iced coffee. And so I promised them this afternoon I'd make them a cold brew iced coffee latte, which I made with the eggnog. Mm -hmm. Took some cold brew coffee that I had made previously put it in a jar with ice and probably probably a quarter of it was eggnog and gave it a good shake, poured it out in their glasses. And yeah, um, now they can't go to sleep tonight. So it's so good. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Sorry. Drinking straight from the bottle. We at least put ours in glasses. Cheers. Yeah. <laughs> hey, there you go. Bad example for children everywhere. You can't let me out now. Oh. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. What else do we have? Oh, Cindy says hey. eggnog bread, banana bread, but eggnog bread. Oh, my gosh. Okay, I'm going to have to try that. Straight out of the bottle from Joe. Yes, definitely nice to hear. <laughs> Very nice. Oh, goodness. What else does everybody use their eggnog for? Feel free to drop a comment. Um, I wanted to tell you about, um, I mentioned sticky fingers. Mm -hmm. Do you remember what the recipe was that you made with sticky fingers? Oh, we made those cupcakes, those um, raspberry cupcakes. Mm -hmm. Sparkling raspberry cupcakes, right? And it had a drink, too. Yeah, we made... Um, it was a slushy? Yeah, it was... Um, Apple slushy. Apple slushy. So apples and ice and yummy stuff in the blender, right? Mm -hmm. Did you like that? Did you like sticky fingers? Mm -hmm. What did you like about sticky fingers? That we um <laughs> that we got to cook it by ourselves and it was really good. Mm -hmm. So the reason I mentioned sticky fingers is Kelowna Supernatural has partnered with Sticky Fingers, and we've still got a couple. Um, oh. oh Sorry, just noticed eggnog oh, pancakes <laughs> that somebody added to the comments. Eggnog, eggnog pancakes are very good. Yes. 
Oh, add eggnog to your icing to make a spice with a spiced cake. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, sorry. Back to the task. Back to the task. Um, so here's a list of the Sticky Fingers um, partnership with Kelowna Supernatural. There's four more yet for the rest of the year. Well, three. One was today. You just One missed it. Yes. Yes, yes. But I see, I wanted to point out um, some of the mission statement from Sticky Fingers because, you know, there's a reason we partnered with this group and um, they they focus on their classes and camps to benefit both the students who participate and the community as a whole. And I really like, um, I like these little, uh, what do I want to say? These reasons, I yeah. guess. So they provide comprehensive education, education and inspiration. And that's for kids. These are, they want to teach kids how to be comfortable with food, know about nutrition, health and wellness, um, encouraging students to practice cooking skills while they're learning cultural, nut nutritional, linguistic, and geographical information about foods from around the world. Lucy even learned some mathematics while you were doing it because she taught you about the cups, like one oh, cup, yeah. half a cup. So they had to do some math while they were making the pro making the recipe. Um, they promote transferable skills that are easily replicated at home. And then lastly, and most importantly in my book, is um, giving students a sense of pride in their hard work. So we we love that we've been able to join with Sticky Fingers um, on these kids cooking classes. So like I said, there's three more yet um, that you can sign up for on the Sticky Fingers website. Um, search for Kelowna Supernatural and you'll find those free classes that use Kelowna Supernatural products. And then next month, our community conversations is going to be partnered with Kelowna Supernatural. So that's on November 11th at 4 p.m. With sticky fingers. Did I say Kelowna Supernatural? I mean, you know, we're, we look at our shirts. <laughs> exactly. Our, our community conversations partnering with sticky fingers on November 11th at 4 p.m. Now we started earlier because it's targeted towards the whole family. So toward the kids, um, the grandkids, anybody you want to cook with. Um, so Lucy will be on with me. We have not decided on the recipe yet. We're still going back and forth, but we're going to do some kid friendly cooking on November 11th at 4 PM. Hopefully you can join us after school um, and we can cook together. So let's talk through just a couple more um, stores that carry the eggnog this season. Cause we want to be sure that all of you eggnog lovers can get you some eggnog. So Joe, take us through a couple more stores here. Yeah, we got, I noticed we had a, quite a few other people here also commenting. And I want to go back to Alabama because as you were talking, it suddenly hit me uh, that we do have another store chain down there that's picking up our eggnog for the first time this year. And that's Rouse's market and i do know they have a few stores in alabama i don't know if they have one near you but um rouse's market in the south southwest it's not it's more south central i believe is where they're located but they have a lot of stores in louisiana and alabama a, uh, i think maybe a few in texas they have stores around there they're carrying our eggnog for the first time this year. So I encourage you, please go out and support them if you're in that area and let them know you love our products because they told me, don't tell them I told you this, but they told me if the <laughs> eggnog sells good, they want to bring in some more of our products. So we really would appreciate it. We'd love to get more of our products in there. They want to see how the eggnog sells and then they're very interested in bringing in some more of our, our products. So Please go out and support them if you're in the area. A perennial favorite of ours that carries our eggnog every year. It's up to the store managers at each store to, to bring it in. But we have a record number of high V stores this year bringing in our eggnog. So please go out, let the high V, uh, your high V health market manager or dairy manager know you'd like to see our eggnog in the store if you don't see it there. But like I said, we have a record number of high V's carrying our eggnog this year. Mm -hmm. And then a few others, Lunds and Byerly, Kowalski's up in the Twin Cities area are carrying our eggnog. And I already mentioned a bunch of the natural co-op grocers. Mm -hmm. 
the, your local co-ops. There's a lot of them, and we love our co-ops. Uh, we love what they do for the community, the uh, local community they support, the foods they bring in. We love what they do, so please go out there and support them. Let them know uh, you appreciate them carrying our products and pick up a bottle of eggnog to celebrate the season while you're at it. Definitely. Okay, we have one question that I, I want to address from our South Carolina friend from Patty. Um, she does have to drive quite a ways to get her Kelowna products. So she's wondering about um, mm, refrigerator cool. life. So, you know, how long can she keep the eggnog yogurt and cottage cheese in her fridge? So we know by, we know about sell by dates, um, but once it's opened, can you take us through any of those products once they're opened? Yeah. Uh, Sam, do you want to talk about that or you want me to run with that one? I know you've well, done a lot of research on this. So After open, let me try this one. After open, this should last five to seven days if it's stored properly. If you do like I did and drink out of the bottle, mm -hmm. there might be a little bit of bacteria and it will go bad faster probably. So don't do that. Sure. <laughs> I'll give you – okay, so because of the higher fat content – this will, hey, Sam said five to seven All days. Right. You can feel very comfortable with that. It will last a little bit longer than that. It should, you know, if you're taking care of it, keep it cold. If you know, I mean, seriously, where does a bottle of eggnog last that long? But <laughs> um, if you know you're going to keep it longer and only adults are going to drink it, you can pre spike it and it will last a lot longer. Oh. Um, yeah, nice. I'll take care of it. Uh, and I do got to give a shout out to my mom. She's on the call. And she mentioned to uh, flavor your uh, icing for a spice cake with eggnog. Mm -hmm. And that's a great way to use the eggnog as well. Uh, mm -hmm. It's always, it, it brings good flavor to the icing. So, hi, mom. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, so that, and on your other products, uh, Sam, she mentioned yogurt, and yep. this is another one I know you've done a lot of digging into. How long will yogurt last after it's open? Oh, gosh. Well, it depends. I'm sorry. I'm the marketing guy. I'm supposed to boil things down and make them simple, but I always want to make them really complicated. It totally depends on how uh, how you store it and what you how you use it, if you dip it, how fast you use it. Joe, what would you say from, from the store's point of view? What do they think about how it lasts? Well, okay. Again, once you open it, culture products, 14 days, um, 14 to 18 days, yeah. no problem. You know, the big thing with yogurt, and this is what Sam's talking about, and if we can make it simple, we can make it complicated. I, we hope you all understand. You got to take care of it. Use clean utensils. Keep it cold. Keep it in, in you know, the cold area of your refrigerator. But one of the things with yogurt is smooth the top after you take a spoonful. If you take a spoonful right out of the middle and you let some splash up on the sides, it won't last as long. But, you know, keep the top smooth. It will easily last two weeks after opening. Again, we're talking about all these things after opening. So if you're picking up two bottles, two containers, keep it in the back of your fridge. Keep it cold. It will last you well, I mean, you know, you you can have till the sell by date to open it and you'll still get a good amount of time to use it after that. All the cultured products will last you a lot longer. Buttermilk, I'm telling you, I, I had buttermilk that was 30 to 45 days old. That, I mean, it made great pancakes. It made a oh, great buttermilk. Honestly, all you have to do is look, make sure there's no mold in the container. And if you don't see any uh, discoloration, uh, Sam, you don't have to put it in wording. You know, it's one thing for me to say it. I know it's recorded. It's live, I'm the closed but. caption man here. <laughs> <laughs> um, and yeah, keep it in the cold part of your refrigerator. Don't put it in the door. Every time you open that hey, dairy products, you don't want to in the door of your refrigerator. Every time you open that door, the warm air hits it and mm -hmm. it's, raising those temps a little bit yeah cultured dairy products will last a long time uh uncultured dairy products like the eggnog not as long but the eggnog because 
it is a higher fat product, a higher, it's a creamier product. You'll, you'll get longer than uh, seven days on it. If you can keep from drinking it that long, you know. <laughs> Awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Um, I hope you got some of your questions answered. And um, like Sam put up there earlier, the store locator is on our website. So if you have questions or if you if you can't find it on the store locator for some reason, feel free to email us or um, or call us. We've got a Cologne Supernatural information that will stick up there for you. Um, but in, yeah, we just enjoyed getting together tonight with our community. And we look forward to seeing you next month on November 11th um, for our partnership with Sticky Fingers. And Lucy will be back. Yay. <laughs> Yay. We love having you on, Lucy. <laughs> She's a good chef. <laughs> As we sign off, can I play the video again? Yes. <laughs> there, are new people on, there are new people on. So. Yeah. Thanks, everybody. Bye. 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 Production today. Look for them in stores near you soon.